everybody, it's Cody, Dixon RC here. So what you're about to see is a mashup of the past couple of days of me working on this truck. Uh, I've got brake stuff, interior things, basically just taking everything apart. I haven't done any real like physical putting things back together yet, except for the brake stuff and the tires. Uh, past that, you're pretty much up to date. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this. If, excuse me, I'm sweating, it's hot out here. But, um, you're gonna, like I say, you're gonna see brakes, tires, you're gonna see uh, interior get taken apart, everything stripped out of it, door panels, the whole deal, I'm taking the radio out, took everything out of it. So <clears throat> it's gonna be the first step here, and then the next step will be all the cleaning. We're gonna clean the floor, the pad that went underneath it, and the vinyl, pretty much everything. We're gonna clean all the things out, make them back new and fresh, try to get the smell, because well, I'll show you, basically what's going on you'll see why i'm doing what i'm doing but pretty much that's it nothing to it really so just hang tight and check it out all right so update this week got some work done on the truck i changed the tires to some uh black hawk ht101s they're 10 plies i uh, took the center caps off because they're wrong the ones that are supposed to go on the chrome wheels don't fit uh they don't fit on these chromes the silver ones don't um I'll give you a little run around on the story of the brakes. I got the line fixed. Um, you can kind of see it. You can see the line right there. I replaced this one line in the one line only, only because it was the only one that was really messed up. So I was like, well, that's cool. We'll do that. I got that changed. Went to go bleed the brakes. I was under the truck. Um, had my wrench on the bleeder screw. And I noticed the caliper light moved like in and out, like it was like shaking. I was like, that's not right. So got to looking at it a little bit harder. There was no pad in the caliper, nothing, no pad at all. So I was like, all right, well, let's take it apart and look at it and see what we can figure out. Well, that's the rotor we took out. This was the back passenger rotor. This was the inside where the caliper was. Look how long that's been like that. So that's, it's supposed to, for you, those of you that don't know, most of y'all know, but most, some of you that don't, rotor has two places of metal with flutes in the center to dissipate heat. That's the idea behind it. This is missing the whole back plate. I don't know what happened. I don't understand why. Don't know what happened there. Anyway, so wound up replacing this replaced the set of pads on that side with some just organic boys, nothing crazy. Um, went to go bleed it. Turns out this caliper over here wasn't getting any brake fluid. Well, we narrowed it down to the hose, the metal line. I gotta fix this. This is just temporary until I bend it and put it back where I'm gonna want it. We replaced this line that runs from the center. There's like a center, like a little I don't, I don't really like a T that's there to this caliper. Replaced it. This caliper finally got fluid so we could bleed it. But before we did all that, I got the front apart and realized it, it was close to needing pads. So I was like, well, let's go ahead and just replace the pads. And went ahead and replaced the rotors too while I was there. I was like, screw it. I didn't really want to feel like bothering with it. So took these old crusty rotors off which you can see there, they're a little rough. Not too bad, the caliper on the passenger front was stuck as well. So it was digging into the rotor, so, and it was leaking everywhere. That's why, so when I take, when I took the wheels off of it and was looking, this particular side here was way, like you can look at it, see how dirty everything is? The other side is not like this. That's why you can see like this here. That's all brake fluid just getting slung around is what I'm assuming because the other side does not look like this. So also got to come to find out a lot of these lug nuts are not normal lug nuts or not stock lug nuts. So see how you can kind of see the thread on the outside knurl here. Some of these lug nuts didn't have the, the end of it. The opening wasn't open enough to slide over this. You had to thread them here before it got to the main threads. So it's kind of weird. So I ordered one Dorman lug nut, turns out it's right. So I ordered a whole box of those from Amazon. Um, that's pretty much it. That was pretty much my week of work. 
uh, this week here at the job. So uh, we got this done. Now it's time to carry it home and start working on all the other stuff, the cleaning and the, like I'm gonna redo, you can't see it here, but see how that piece of wire loom's hanging down right here? I'm gonna redo that whole entire wire loom. Clean all that up, put new loom on it or tape, whatever, just to make it nice again, cause it looks horrible under there. And then just do a lot of cleaning and a lot of replacing. Um, you haven't seen this yet, but I gotta, I was, I'm was. i gonna get rid of this box, but I think I'm gonna keep it. I ordered a small inside box, but turns out it's really, really small compared to what I need. It's a nice box, but it come also, when it got here, it's dented like heavily. That was like done in, in shipping. I'm gonna try and make it a little bit better, but my thought process is how it looks against this like i can leave it against this side and i've still got plenty of room here to put things and also my other thought with this one is here if i put it all the way back here and I pop it open i can put trucks in here rigs will fit in here maybe three maybe four depending on how i set them up i don't carry a lot of trucks with me to events anyway so this might be a good option put a lot of put like some uh weather stripping or some rubber on here to seal it so it keeps water out or try to anyway but i think uh i think it'll work anyway so we'll see we'll it'll be trial and error i gotta try out all these things to figure out what's going to work when i travel anyway um trying to figure out whether everybody lights on turns out it's been butt connected on can't figure that out don't know why they did that my horn doesn't work can't figure that out either so We'll figure that out later. Also, when I look under the hood, I can't really see if there's horns actually under here anywhere. I can't see them. So we'll see, but update, this is Friday. I've got some more, I'll do some more work on Sunday and then put this video out. So that's it, we'll see you soon. All right, so today we're gonna to take apart the inside of this thing. We're gonna take the seats out of it, the dash out of it, we're gonna take the door panels off of it, pretty much everything to get it ready to do some cleaning. It's pretty clean in here, except for, you know, dirt, you know, stuff like that. But we're gonna deep clean all the plastics. We're gonna clean the floor, probably take the vinyl out of it and actually clean the, the painted body underneath it. Um, I did that, I've done that with a lot of my cars and it, it definitely makes it feel better once you put it all back together. Um, so to take the seats out, we'll go over this first. So you need E sockets, external bit. Um, because it has external bit bolts in it. You can see right there. You get my finger where you can see it. Those are external bit. So you need a 15 for the front. And you need 11 for the back. And I got just a little 3 8 ratchet and a nice little 6 inch extension. Nothing crazy. So we're going to take the driver's side one out, then the passenger side one out, then I'm going to take the center console out. The center console will come out and will not go back in. I've got a console coming for it. Uh, it's going to be cool when it gets here. It won't be here until next week, but I was hoping it had been here sooner, but it's just not going to happen. So I do find out probably why my airbag light was on. These were, that's what's connected to the airbag, just little butt connectors. They weren't really in there that tight because they just pulled right out. The horn doesn't work using, you know, that's the horn buttons there. Uh, and it does have, I bet you the clock spring's bad. Um, this steering wheel has been out before. You can see on the nut where it's been taken off at some point in its life um which is fun but i think the i think i need to buy a clock spring try that first see if that fixes the horn also i'm going to look and make sure it has horns because i don't know if it actually does or not so um in this video i'm just going to show you how to take these seats out we're going to take the door panels off i think these should relatively be pretty simple to take apart there's no looks like there's one bolt down here to take it out yeah you gotta take the, the little uh, pin off of that, which isn't that fun. But that should be it. I'm gonna time lapse this because I don't want to bore you with how long. If I run anything crazy, I will um, stop it and talk to you. But it should be fairly, relatively, fairly simple. Also, we're gonna take these panels off the back here where the speakers go. These speakers are gonna come out. They will not go back in. Uh, of course, I'll be removing the speakers in the doors. We're gonna take the radio out. We're gonna take this trim piece off here. Uh, may take the glove box down. Depends on how much time I got today. I ain't got a whole lot, a whole lot of time, but I'm gonna try and get most of it done. 
Um, also, this light thing, I'm going to unhook it, figure out where the wires go, get under there and figure out where the trailer brake wires are so I can figure out where to run that. Just all the little things, simple things to, to get done with removing all the panels and stuff. So, so just um, stay watching. I'll be back shortly. All right, so I got interior out, got our door panels out, got the rear panel out, got the side pl plates, the B pillars, or is it A, that's B, B pillar panels out. It's all I'm gonna do today. It's hot, I'm tired. I gotta go do other things. So this thing keeps popping off. I wonder if I can fix that. Yeah, I can fix that no problem there. So this thing's relatively clean. I mean, that's been taken apart before. The vinyl or the little sticker has not there and got some weird dirt in some weird places um is this like normal you chevy guys this this is like is it peeling is that what that is is that like the original the gray peeling to the black that's what it looks like it's only in these weird it's only in certain little spots it's not everywhere this back carpet's pretty clean uh this is i'm just going to vacuum this i'm going to pull this out this vinyl part of the seat or vinyl part of the floor excuse me Take it out, be able to hang it up and spray it with purple stuff and let it just soak and get clean. Um, that door, that one doesn't like it's ever been apart. It's pretty clean, um, in decent shape. These speakers, these are the only two speakers that worked was the little four by sixes. Um, I got this little cord. I don't know what it, it goes to this little antenna thing here. I don't know where it goes under the dash. I still got to get in there. We're gonna do that tomorrow night. I'm gonna come in here and take the dash out, take the radio out, take the take these out, take this panel out, probably take the glove box out, disconnect this traffic thing. I don't know what it is, it's a light thing or something. Get all those wires out. I think that's what that gray wire is right there. I think that's some sort of, it goes to that, I think. Actually, yeah, it does, I can see it from here. I need to bolt up the DLC. Um, you can see it's hanging down right there below the park and brake release. I don't know why that's down, but I'm going to bolt it back up. Um, that's pretty much it. So, Well, I got, um, I pulled the vinyl out of the floor. It's way dirtier than I thought it was going to be. All of it was a bunch of dirt clumped up here, which is normal because that's where everything goes. You can still see part of it there. But I need to take this foam out because if you can kind of see, see how you can kind of see the difference in the color? It is wet underneath of, underneath of there um don't like that don't know what i'm gonna do i don't think you can get this anymore like this piece of foam i don't want the vinyl the vinyl can be clean that's not a problem this is what i worry about being wet like that that's not good i also wonder when you look at this side over here where look at that it's an open hole where there used to be, oh, I see. So there's this cable that I couldn't really figure out where it goes. That's what goes to the lights. So it's done like that. I bet I can get that that plug still, clean that up really well and replace that. I don't know. But you can tell it's been wet in here. 
mainly in just this area in the front here, just right here and right there. There's a little bit back there, but back here is dry. I thought I could smell it when I got in it. It smelled kind of mildewy, but not bad, but bad enough. So, you know, it gives me an idea. So now I know. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna take this foam out though and figure out what to do. Maybe GM still has it. I'm, I would imagine they do. This is probably one of their number one trucks kind of thing. So maybe they still have the foam and I can buy the. Maybe it's not too much money. That's what I'm hoping. But we shall see. But um. Yeah, that's just a quick check-in. I come in, come home at lunch and started, decided to take the rest of this apart and then we'll finish the rest of it tonight. So I guess I'll see you soon. saw all the workings of taking this thing apart so that's pretty much it for this week uh get ready for next week next week we'll start doing some cleaning then it's gonna be install time because i've got a pile of parts maybe we'll do a video of just going over all the things that i got for it as well because they're all pretty much here a couple things i'm still waiting on some spark plugs and things like that i haven't actually ordered any of those things yet but i am getting those things so um pretty cool so this has been fun. I actually found out the name of the truck. It's Peggy D. I found it on the, uh, you can see right here. Every one of these old body style uh, trucks have, when you take out the gauge cluster bezel, it's got a sticker on the top of it. It's got the name. Each one of them is supposed to be different and it has the build date, all that stuff like that. So this truck is going to be called Peggy D. That's the name of it. So that's what we're going to call it. So um, that's pretty much it. So Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Like I say, I'm not a big automotive YouTuber, so I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm trying. So hopefully it works. Hopefully you're enjoying it. If you got any questions, let me know. I've There's a couple of questions I've got. If you got answers, let me know. That kind of deal, you know, stuff like that. So thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time.